an absolute field of pure consciousness, which is the center of your being. Every single person who is awake, the center of your existence is this field. Hello and welcome everybody to Esoteric Cosmos Live. Justin Brengia. Rosebud Kincaid. And it's our pleasure to be here today. Um, we have a special topic. Every week is special, so you hear special a lot because I think the material we bring to the table always is. Right. Very special in many different ways. Uh, but we're going to be covering some of the um, you know, UFO sightings in 2009 because it wasn't just us that had a UFO sighting. These are happening all over the world. All over the world, and for many, many years. But these recent ones are really fantastic photographs, and I think uh, I'd like we'd like to share them with you and see what you think. Yeah. So what we're gonna do? I got like seven or eight uh, video clips or so. I was doing a lot of research on YouTube, just like yourself, uh, this week, trying to find the best footage I could find out there. Some of it's from the news, including Fox News. Yeah. I noticed Fox News has been doing a lot on you, more than CNN and right. The other you don't expect places. that. You don't expect that. Uh, very interesting. So, I, I think we see disclosure happening, but let's cut right into the footage. We're going to show a bunch of random clips from different UFO sightings, some of the best footage I could find online, um, and then we'll, you know, raise the discussion and feel free to ask questions and all that good stuff. We like to address all that, but let's cut right into the footage here. A UFO sighting in Boca Raton? Dozens of people say they looked up Monday night and saw a green light darting across the sky. News Channel 5's Marcy Gonzalez looked into the extraterrestrial claims. Look at that, look at that. A glowing light spirals across the night sky. No little green men or flying saucer, but this bright cylinder above Boca Raton Monday had Ryan Helfrich and his friends saying they saw a UFO. This thing was like going crazy, like zigzagging, like shot across the sky. That was unbelievable nothing i've ever seen before they claim it drew images in the sky for two and a half hours a light show that was both scary and unexplainable that is not a space station can you explain wow so that was incredible because it drew a chakra you can literally see that outline but i'm just going to keep cutting into all these clips we have the sound of the universe um, I think. um yes that's the third eye chakra sound um let's cut right to video two This one's amazing. This is actually in Russia. I know you don't hear nothing, but <laughs> this is amazing footage that happened in Russia. Just keep watching. This looks like a surveillance camera. Great to see their reactions here. <laughs> I don't think they recognize it yet. They're about to. And I guess this is, it looks like uh, they slow mode it to catch it, but look at that. That's huge. Mm. Just huge orbs of light. I still don't think they realize it yet. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> wow, and do you see another one? Mm -hmm. They like the traveling groups, I guess. Mm -hmm. Incredible footage. And they are not stupid in Russia. They're more advanced, their space program, I hear, than ours. Oh, yeah, yeah. And and they let it out more to the public. Exactly. So uh, you'll get to see. I'm starting to almost learn Russian <laughs> their videos. So now you can see all their reactions. They're all gathering around this thing. That's incredible footage. Let's cut to the next one. All around the world, UFOs appearing. 
all around the world. This one's in China. Shout out to my buddy. 台南道是长江七号重现台湾上空吗？我们来看看这张照片，我是民众在这个中科护理园区附近拍到的，看起来好像是飞碟，不过看看好像是某种鸟类呢。长江七号难道真的出现在台湾？就在后里，有民众拍到一片绿油油的稻田上方，有一个疑似飞碟的白色物体。有点像飞碟啦。如果以这个屋檐跟这个树来讲的话，如果要解读这是一只鸟的话，可能哦，这只鸟也是蛮大只的。真的是飞碟吗？实际回到现场，除了有鸟儿从天飞过之外，就是蓝天绿地，什么也没有。有专家就说。画面上的不明物体，九成九是白露丝，是白露丝的可能性比较大。听它放大以后，看它影像的情形，就就像一个鸟飞的形状嘛。然后那个地方就是一个田野，那个白露丝一定很多。究竟是飞碟还是白露丝，各方都没有确定的答案。不过可以确定的是，后里乡间传出有飞碟，已经成了大家热门的讨论话题。记者陈一虎、吴燕台中报道。Wow, that's incredible! Close-up daytime footage of a UFO. That's a huge one too. It, <laughs> that does look huge. Let's cut right to the next one. There's these all day long. I think I must have sent you at least a couple dozen. We're only going to show like seven or eight here. Um, this one is actually a alien fetus. Era exactamente igual a las piedras. Como si se estuviera camuflajeando o mimetizando para que no lo encontráramos. ¿Y con el tiempo piensas que deberías haber actuado de otra forma o es lo que único que podías hacer? Pues、eh, yo estuve muy enferma. Después de este encuentro me sentí muy mal aproximadamente 15 días. Estuve mareada con dolores de cabeza, traía asco, traía la sensación de, o sea, de volver al estómago por por el aroma. No sé si la sustancia me intoxicó. Pero, pues siento que hicimos lo correcto el no haberlo, pues el, el no haberlo tomado, habernos acercado más a él, porque no sé qué hubiera pasado. Quizás nos hubiera afectado más a nosotros físicamente. Pues he tenido una serie de experiencias a lo largo de mi vida, pero sí considero este caso de los más importantes. Yeah, that actually was not、uh, the the one from Italy,、uh, but that is a dead baby fetus.、Uh, that's a very interesting story as well.、I、had to show that one. That caught my interest.、Um, let's cut right to the next one here. This one's in Spain. This is another incredible footage. Like the left side of the mirror, like looking around there. 